wonders, terrors are many, and none is more wonderful, terrible than humanity. This spans the sea, even when it surges white before the gales of the south wind, and makes a path under swells that threaten to engulf us. Earth too, the eldest of the gods, the unwilting, the unwearied, we wear away to our own ends, turning the soil with the offspring of horses as the plows weave to and fro year after year. The feathered rain tribe of birds and the clans of the wild beasts and the sea brood of the sea, humanity snares in the meshes of our twisted nets and we lead them captive. Very skilled people, we master by our arts the beast who dwells in the wilds and roams in the hills. We tame the shaggy maned horse, putting the yoke upon its neck, and tames the tireless mountain bull. Speech and thought, fast as the wind, and the moods that give order to a city. We have taught ourselves and how to flee the arrows of the inhospitable frost under clear skies and the arrows of the storming rain. We have resource for everything. Lacking resource in nothing, we stride towards what must come. From Hades alone, we shall procure no escape, but from hopeless diseases, we have devised flights. Possessing resourceful skill, a subtly beyond expectation, we move now to evil, now to good. When we honor the laws of the land and the justice of the gods to which we bound by oath, we stand high in the city, but banned from our city is the person thanks to their rashness. Couples with disgrace, never may they share my home, never think my thoughts, who does these things? What marvel set by superhuman forces is this? My mind goes in two different directions. I know her. How can I deny that this girl is Antigone? Oh, unhappy child of your unhappy father of Oedipus. What can this mean? What? Surely they aren't bringing you captive for disobeying the king's law and being caught in foolishness.